everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be testing out the whole new skincare range from Primark and everything is from their brand new Futures Bright range which you can probably see just behind me here and that is a candle that's lit. It's actually not as close as it looks to the boxes, don't worry. I am going to be moving it in just a minute but just to show you everything from the range this is what I bought and this is what I'm going to be testing. So I bought one of every single product and I'm going to be using them throughout the next month and then letting you know my thoughts at the end. I did also review their PS Naturals range last year so if you haven't already seen that video I will leave a link to that in the description box so you can have a look at that one as well. But this video is all about their Futures Bright range which I am so excited to try. I feel like Primark have really stepped up their skincare game in the last year releasing a larger range of more targeted products so I'm really excited to give these a try and I cannot wait to see what the results are going to be like at the end of the month. So if you'd like to see how I get on with these products for the next month then please keep on watching. So firstly just a quick bit of information about these products is that they are all vegan, cruelty free and super affordable too. I think the best way to show you everything is to apply them on camera and then I can give you my first impressions and thoughts as I use each product for the first time. I will also only be using these skincare products for the whole of the next month just so that no other products interfere with the results and so that I can give you my most accurate opinion at the end. I'm going to start at the beginning of the skincare routine and apply the cleanser and this is the jelly cleanser which costs £3 for 145ml of product which is such a good price. This cleanser contains hyaluronic acid and watermelon and pineapple extract which is meant to help brighten your skin and on the back it says to apply to damp skin morning and evening in circular motions to create a lather and then rinse well with clean water. Now usually when I have makeup on I will double cleanse and remove the majority of my makeup first with an oil based cleanser before going in with another cleanser just to remove any residue and also just make my skin feel extra clean. But in this experiment this is going to be used as both of my cleansers so I may need to apply this a couple of times depending on how well it removes my makeup. So first things first I'm going to apply my headband just to keep my hair off my face and you may have seen that I bought this in my latest Primark haul which if you haven't seen that I will leave a link to that in the description so you can give that a watch too. But yeah this is just a really cute nice little headband just to keep my hair off my face when I do makeup and also skincare. Now before I apply this to my skin I'm going to show you what it's like on the back of my hand just so you can see the consistency. Oh, you can definitely smell the watermelon. That's a really strong scent. That smells so nice. So this is the consistency. It's a little bit runny. It's not too thick. It actually feels kind of cooling on the skin already. Let's just see what it's like when I work it into the back of my hand. Oh, it disappears straight away. So it applies white and then rubs in clear. It's kind of starting to lather up a little bit on the back of my hand. Oh, actually, the smell has changed. Initially, when you first apply this, you get an immediate watermelon smell. But actually, once you rub it in a little bit, you can smell more of the pineapple. And it smells amazing. I really love the combination of those two together. So I'm just going to get this off the back of my hand, and then I'm going to apply it to my face. I have also got a bowl of water, a towel, a flannel, and a muslin cloth just to assist me in this process, as there isn't really a lot of filming space in my bathroom, so I'm just doing it in my filming room instead. Now, it does say to apply to damp skin, so I'm just going to splash a little bit of water on my face first. But I don't want to go crazy with this. I feel it running down my sleeve already. Oh, I hate that feeling. And I'm going to start with one pump and just see how I get on with that. So let's see what it's like. I'm just going to dip my hand in a little bit of water and see if it lathers up any easier. I mean, all I can smell is pineapple and watermelon. It is quite a strong smell, so if you're not keen on it, then I probably would say to avoid it because it is quite strong. Just dip my hand in a bit more water and I'm going to go in with another pump. It works into the skin really nicely though. Now I am going over my eyes. I'm not sure if it said to avoid it. I probably should have looked at that first. So far it's kind of stinging a little bit like around my nose here. Maybe I've been working it in there a bit more than anywhere else. But yeah, you only really need a small amount. A thin layer does the job. So I would say that is probably enough for my first cleanse. So what I'm gonna do now is wet a muslin cloth and just wipe off as much as I can. And then I may go in again with a second layer. That stinging sensation around my nose area is still there. It's not really bad. It's kind of like tingly, but it's not enough to put me off using it. It does also have hyaluronic acid in, so it could be that that's making it sting a bit, which now I'm saying that I probably shouldn't have put that around my eyes like I did, but it's too late now. And of course, this cloth also does help to remove quite a lot of the makeup as well. Just looking at my skin, you can definitely tell that it has removed a lot of the makeup. You do, of course, have to be careful around your eye area. As you can see, that is pretty much most of my makeup off, and that is just from one layer of cleanser. It was super easy to wash off, and it also leaves my skin feeling really soft and clean afterwards. Where it was singing, it kind of feels a little bit tighter. But it's not uncomfortable, and it's not painful. It just feels a little bit more tight. But I am going to go in with another layer, just to make sure that I have really removed all of my makeup and everything. So I'm going to wet my face again first. 
first and then go in with one more pump and then I'm gonna avoid my eye area this time it actually didn't really do anything it didn't make it sting at all but I am just gonna be a little bit more careful this time as I just remembered that it has hyaluronic acid in and it's probably not great to put that over your eyes and I feel like it has removed the majority of my makeup the first time round second time round it's actually not making my skin sting at all maybe it's used to it from the first time round I'm not sure but now I'm just gonna go in with a clean flannel and just remove the second layer of cleanser this time I'm just using the water to go around my eyes rather than the actual cleanser itself. And I would say that that is now the cleanser done. So now I'm gonna move on to toner. Next in the routine is toner, and this is the 5% glycolic toner, which costs four pounds for 150 ml of product. This toner contains glycolic acid and watermelon and pineapple extracts, which is meant to give you radiant skin. So let's have a look. I have actually looked at the bottle and it's not what I expected it to look like at all. How cool is that? I'm just gonna read a bit from the back of the bottle. So it says, the PS Futures Bright Glycolic Tonic, which has been specially formulated with a blend of 5% glycolic acid, watermelon and pineapple extracts, is designed to smooth fine lines and wrinkles and restore complexion clarity, leaving the skin looking brighter, healthier, and more youthful. It also says on the box somewhere, I read it says, after two weeks, 88% of people said their skin looked more radiant. I'm actually gonna be testing this out for a month. So we will see at the end of the month if it actually has made any difference. It says to apply this with a cotton pad after cleansing and to use once a day ideally in the evening and also not to rinse it off now because I'm testing this in the video I am going to be doing it now during the day and then from tomorrow until the rest of the month I will use this in the evening instead but for the purpose of the video I'm going to apply it now it says to apply with a cotton pad and please don't come for me for this I have got normal cotton pads here but I am going to be buying some reusable ones I actually tried to get some in time for this video but they didn't arrive on time so I have got some on their way they're just not here yet I'm just going to apply some to the cotton pad I'm not sure how quick this is going to come out we're going to go with that amount you can really smell the watermelon on the this one. That is a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. I'm just going to use this in an upwards motion on my skin. The tingling sensation from the cleanser has now completely gone. It feels nice and cooling on the skin. It doesn't feel like it's making my skin feel tight at all, which is good. It is starting to make my skin tingle a little bit, just like the cleanser, but I'm sure it's just the glycolic acid actually getting to work, but it feels really nice and cooling. And as you can see, there actually wasn't a lot of makeup or anything that came off with that, but that just shows how well the cleanser did at removing the majority of my makeup. And yeah, so that is the toner on. That tingling sensation is starting to go down a bit now, which is good. So I'm just gonna let that sink into my skin before moving on to serum. Next up is facial serum, and this one costs three pounds for 30 ml of product. And this serum contains hyaluronic acid and watermelon and pineapple extracts, which is meant for hydrated skin. On the box, it says to apply to a cleansed face morning and evening in circular motions until fully absorbed. Can be used alone or before your moisturizer. And I am gonna be using moisturizer as well. I've actually got two different ones to try out. So I'm gonna be using this serum first. This is the bottle that it comes in and the actual serum itself is pink, which I love. On the back of the bottle, it says the PS Futures Bright Facial Serum, which has been specially formulated with a blend of hyaluronic acid, watermelon, and pineapple extracts is designed to hydrate and soften the skin. So let's have a look. I will also drop a little bit of it onto the back of my hand so you can see the consistency. And I have fully wiped the cleanser off that was on there earlier. It's not too runny, it's not too thick. And you can still smell that watermelon. Maybe not as strong as the other products so far, but you can definitely smell it still. I'm just gonna use this to apply to my skin. And also another couple of drops as well. I feel like that was probably just enough amount of drops actually. I used three and it's completely covered my skin. Now it does feel a little bit sticky, but yeah, it's quite a thin consistency. It's not too gloopy, which is nice, but it does leave a slightly tacky layer on the skin. So I'm gonna let that just sit for a minute and then I will go in with the moisturizers. The final step in this routine is moisturizer. Now I actually bought both of the moisturizers in this range as one contains SPF and the other one doesn't. So one I'm gonna use throughout the day and then one I'm gonna use in the evening. For the sake of this part of the video and also so that I can give you my thoughts straight away on both of these, I'm gonna apply one moisturizer to one half of my face and the other to the other half. First up, I'm gonna use the Daily Defense Moisturizer which contains SPF 30 and this one costs four pounds for 50 ml of product. On the front of the box it says this offers high protection, anti-blue light complex, licorice, watermelon and pineapple extract which protects against effects of blue light. So the fact this moisturizer has SPF 30 and blue light protection in it and you get 50 ml for four pounds, it is such a good price and I'm really hoping this works as well as it sounds because it really does sound incredible. Then on the back of the box it says to apply to a cleansed face morning and evening in circular motions until fully absorbed and evening interesting and then it kind of goes into a little bit more information about the sun protection side of it but the fact they also say you can apply this in the evening surprises me especially because it contains spf would you really want spf to be on your skin overnight 
I'm not so sure, but I'm definitely gonna be using this one in the day. So let's have a look what it looks like inside. So it comes in this little squeezy tube and I'm gonna apply a bit to the back of my hand so you can see the consistency. I did also wash my hands while I was waiting for the facial serum to sink in. So there isn't anything on the back now. <gasps> oh my goodness, I thought it was gonna go everywhere. Wait. Oh, it's broken. Well, that's not a great start. Okay, so I'm gonna have to try and get into this another way. I'm gonna put the lid back on before it goes everywhere. Ugh. I picked up one with a broken pump, which is super annoying, but immediately though, that watermelon smell, that is very, very strong. In fact, that's probably the strongest out of all of the products so far. I mean, this is not the way that I thought it was gonna go, but let's just see. Hopefully it's not too runny and it doesn't go everywhere. I'm gonna apply a little bit to the back of my hand so you can see. I don't wanna bring out too much. It feels quite thin, but it's also not runny, which is nice. Let's see what it's like when I rub it in. So obviously it goes on white, but actually it has blended into my skin really nicely. Now I'm gonna apply it to my face and I'm gonna apply it to this half of my face, why not? I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna get on with this in the next month considering the pump is broken, but we will just apply a little bit, I guess. I'll put some more onto the back of my hand and just dab it on. I'm just gonna start with that amount. Let's have a look. So far, it hasn't sunk into my skin as well as it did on my hand. Let me just see. I will let you know in the update how well makeup sits over the top of this moisturizer as well as all of the other products as well and whether or not it affects how well my makeup looks and lasts. So we will see, but for today, I'm gonna leave it just as it is and not apply any more makeup. It is also worth noting that my skin type is combination oily. So I will also let you know in the update how well it works for my particular skin type. But so far, I am pretty impressed with everything. This side of my face does feel slightly tacky. So I'm not sure if this moisturizer will sink in or maybe if I apply too much, but I'm gonna leave it at that and I'm gonna move on to the other moisturizer. And finally, I'm gonna apply the Featherweight Gel Moisturizer to this half of my face, and this costs three pounds for 45 ml of product. And on the box, it says to apply to a cleansed face and neck morning and evening in circular motions until fully absorbed. It also says the PS Futures Bright Featherweight Gel Moisturizer, which has been specifically formulated with a blend of hyaluronic acid, watermelon, and pineapple extracts, is designed to hydrate and soften the skin. And this one is in a squeezy tube as well, so let's hope this goes better than the last application. Although I did wash my hands, I can still kind of feel the moisturizer on my hand, so I will just apply to this one. This one kind of looks off-white, more like pink. If you compare it to the color here, it definitely looks off-white. Let's see what it's like when I rub this one in. Wow, that sinks in straight away. But I don't think this one smells as strong as the other one, unless I'm just so used to it by now. So let's apply it to my face. I'm just gonna squeeze a bit out onto the back of my hand again and just apply it. I don't know if I've applied a little bit too much there. I forget that I'm only doing half of my face. Although I thought the consistency was quite similar on the back of my hand, when you apply it on your face, it does feel slightly different. This side, it feels like it sinks in a little bit more. It does still feel a little bit tacky this side, but I'd say not as much as this side. I don't know if that's maybe the added SPF that's causing that. As with both of these moisturizers, if you're someone that doesn't like the feel of something being on your skin, then I would probably avoid them, just because you can definitely sort of feel that they're there. Let's see what it's like with my hair if it got stuck. Mm. See, if I was out, I would feel like my hair would be sticking to my face. I mean, this is obviously not an official test, but <laughs> it does kind of stick a little bit. Let's see what it's like this side. And this is the side with the SPF. And also bearing in mind that it has been on my skin a little bit longer, so it's had more chance to absorb. Slightly sticky, again, slightly sticky, but then I have only just applied it, so I don't really know why I just did that. I've just had a quick look in the mirror and you can actually see more of a difference between each side of my face with the different moisturizers than you can on camera. On camera, it's actually not that obvious, but in the mirror, it is. This side has now completely sunk in, but the side with the SPF is still quite tacky. So out of the two, I probably prefer the gel moisturizer, but I do like the benefits of the SPF and the blue light protection. I will continue to see how they both wear throughout the month, both with and without makeup, and just see if I change my opinion at all and I haven't had any issues with any of these products so far other than the slight tingling effect from the cleanser and the toner but that has since gone off and it hasn't left any redness or anything so I think that's more down to the ingredients that are in it so I'm really interested to see how well my skin reacts to these products for the next month it's currently Saturday the 1st of May 2021 and I'm going to be using these throughout the whole of May before I let you know my final thoughts so unless there's anything worth updating you about in the meantime the next time you'll see me will be at the end of the month hey guys I just thought I would do a quick update as it's currently the 
the 25th of May and this is the first time that I've worn makeup the whole month so as I said I would show you what it looks like with makeup over the top this is how my skin is looking so far this morning I used the cleanser the serum and the moisturizer with the SPF in and this is how my makeup is looking over the top so far so good it's only been on maybe two or three hours this makeup but so far it hasn't come through any oilier or anything that it would normally in fact it's actually doing pretty well also the color of my fake tan please ignore that <laughs> it come out way too dark but yeah I just thought I would show you a quick update as this is the first time I've worn makeup this month and this is how it is looking over the top. Today is Monday 31st of May and it's the final day of testing out these skincare products for a whole month. I'm going to start by giving you an update on each product separately and then I will give you my overall thoughts on the whole range at the end. So I'm going to start with the jelly cleanser. I used two to three pumps of this every single day morning and evening and as you can see I'm up to here. This is what I've got left in the bottle. So in a whole month I've only used maybe just over a third of the product so I've still got lots left. The smell was quite overpowering and I got sick of the fragrance within the first day or two but then after a few more days it became more bearable and I kind of got used to how strong the smell is but that is something to consider especially with the whole range actually that the smell of watermelon and pineapple is very very strong so if you don't really like fragrance products on your skin then I would probably avoid this range but when I used this my skin felt really clean and soft afterwards and I was able to use this for double cleansing it was also fairly easy to remove despite it being quite a thick gel and I really got on with this cleanser so I will definitely continue to use this and then next up we have the 5% glycolic toner I don't know how well you'll be able to see but I'm actually left with about this much. I don't know if you can see that moving. So I've got about this much left. Considering you only need to use this once a day in the evening, it will last you a really long time. Now, even though this does help to gently exfoliate, there were times throughout the month where I felt like my skin could do with more of an exfoliation than I was getting from this toner. But I do think it helped to make my skin look brighter. And I know that was one of the claims on the box. It says after two weeks, 88% of people said their skin looked more radiant. And I do have to agree with that. Although it is kind of hard to tell which product has made the most difference because I have been using them all every day. But I do feel like this has really helped my skin. And then next up we have the facial serum which at first I didn't think was really doing anything but then after a while I did notice that my skin was looking a lot more glowy. Again although it's hard to tell which product has made my skin more glowy I think it is down to the serum because I notice an immediate glow straight after I apply it and I feel like even when I wake up the next morning it's still quite glowy so I do think this has made more of a difference than I first thought and also a little bit goes a long way so this would last you a long time. In fact I've got this amount of serum left and again that is within a whole month's worth of use. I think I used two to three drops of this both morning and evening and it definitely has made a difference to the glow of my skin and I would definitely recommend giving this a try as I really got on with this product and I felt like it did make a difference. Which brings me next onto the Daily Defense Moisturizer with SPF and Blue Light Protection. Out of all of the different products I think this was the one I was most looking forward to trying but it's actually the one I used the least and it's the only one I didn't really like. I also didn't use this every single day as I wasn't really sure about it at first as it's a very heavy moisturizer that just sort of sits on your skin. It doesn't absorb very well and that's just not the consistency that I like for my moisturizer. I don't like my face to feel sticky. I love the SPF and blue light protection features However, I just personally didn't like the consistency and I wasn't sure if it was this that broke me out because it feels so heavy on the skin I love the idea of it and the features. I think that's brilliant and the price as well I just personally didn't get on with the consistency and the smell was just a bit too much for me So for those reasons I wouldn't repurchase it which then brings me on to the other moisturizer Which is the final product. I love using this in the evenings I felt like it made my skin look really glowy especially with the serum as well and even the next morning I woke up and my skin still look glowy so it didn't completely come off on my pillows which is great and although the fragrance is strong it's definitely not as bad as the other one and this moisturizer feels really lovely on the skin. I also tried using this during the day when I wasn't going out and I found that it worked just as well during the day as it did overnight and it worked just as nicely under makeup as the other moisturizer did as well but out of the two I much preferred this one. Overall my opinion on this skincare range has changed throughout the month. My skin broke out the day after I first tried everything and I had a lot of really sore spots on my cheeks in particular that lasted the whole month. In fact you can still see, I will zoom you in in just a second, but you can still see where those spots were, but it's not as bad now as it was for around the first three weeks. I'll insert a photo of my skin one week in so you can see the difference, but up until about a week ago, I wasn't sure on this skin range at all because of how my skin had reacted, and the fact that it reacted within the first 24 hours made me think that it was these products that caused that, but about a week ago, the spots did start to clear up a bit. Although they're definitely not completely gone yet, they are a lot easier to cover, which speaking of covering, I actually only wore makeup around four times this month purely because I was at home and I didn't really go out until the last week or so but the makeup did apply nicely over the top of all of these products and it lasted just as long as it normally would which is great. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see my skin up close. I currently have no makeup on at all. As you can see I do still have quite a few spots on my cheeks. This side was worse to begin with but it has cleared up a lot and it looks a lot better than it did. I usually get a lot of spots on my chin area anyway and like 
this sort of area. So it's not too dissimilar to normal. And then this is my forehead. But touch wood, my forehead is usually pretty clear and it hasn't made my skin break out there any more than it normally would. Also, you may notice that I've upgraded my camera since the first part of this video, which is how I can zoom you in and stuff now. So hopefully you notice a difference and you can see a lot more clearly how my skin is looking and everything. But yeah, this is how my skin is looking after one month of using these products. Up until about a week ago, my thoughts were that I didn't like this range and I wasn't overly keen on repurchasing anything just because of how badly my skin broke out to begin with. However, I do think that my skin has improved in the last week and I'd say that's probably because it's had time to adjust to the new products. Often when you try new skincare products, your skin will get worse before it gets better and I think that's what happened in this instance. But I'm glad that I stuck with it and kept using everything. But yeah, out of the whole range, the only product I didn't really like was the Daily Defense Moisturizer just because it was too heavy and fragrance for me. But I loved everything else. But yeah, my skin definitely looks a lot more glowy each morning, which I have to put down to this range because it didn't always look that way before. So my overall thoughts on this range is pretty positive and I definitely recommend giving these products a try. But also give it a chance if your skin does break out initially as it should clear up with more use over time. It's a great little starter range to try if you're new to skincare or the ingredients they use like hyaluronic acid and glycolic acid because the prices are really affordable and you can choose the products to suit you. There were times throughout the month where I thought it'd be really nice to use a face mask, whether that's a clay or a mud mask or even a sheet mask. So that would be something that would be worth bringing into this range. I know Primark do sell face masks, but they don't currently have any in this Futures Bright range, which is why I didn't buy any of the other ones. But it would also be really nice to include an eye cream, a moisturizer that's specifically for evening use, an exfoliator, whether that's physical or chemical, and maybe a targeted spot treatment, just to appeal to more skin types and concerns. My skin type is combination oily, and I found that these products work well for me in the end, despite the shaky start at the beginning with the huge breakout. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I will also be trying a few other skincare products in the next couple of months or so, but if there's anything in particular that you would like me to try, then leave a comment down below or contact me on my social media and I will have a look into other skincare products that I can try. Also, let me know in the comments if you've ever tried any of these products from the Primark Futures Bright range as I'd love to know your thoughts on them too, or let me know if it's something that you'd like to try. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.